Hello, everybody. Welcome to HCKT TV. My name's Mark, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Please, if you like the con content, subscribe and leave a comment. This channel will have ginseng hunting. It will have news, what's going on around Harlan, and also the surrounding areas of Harlan. We do council meetings for Everts, and a lot of stuff just happens here. We also take requests from people who lived in the area and have moved away and would like to see what the area looks like now. So sit back, enjoy yourself, get your popcorn out, and enjoy HCKT TV. Make sure you give us a subscription if we've earned it. Thank you. What if I told you racism still exists? Would you believe me? What if I told you there was a judge that wouldn't prosecute a walking white black case? Hmm, interesting, ain't it? Well, let me introduce you to the bow tie judge. That's what I call him anyway. He was a def defense attorney at one point in time. Uh seems to respect the Constitution. Reminds me a lot of Russell Allred, the way he does his court for the Harlan County people that watch these videos of mine. Um, everybody remembers how Allred run his court, so check out this judge. He's pretty awesome. I watch him a lot. He has his stuff open on Zoom. So without no further ado, let me introduce you to Judge Fleischer. Zion Aviola. Mr. Aviola, you're charged with two cases. You're charged with evading arrest. You're also charged with the lawful carrying of a weapon. On both of those cases, you're facing up to a year in jail and or a $4,000 fine. We're going to do probable cause. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you. You have the right to have an attorney present. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you, sir. Judge, on May 30th, 2024, Austin observed two black males walking out of Beckford Place Homeowners Association Park, which was closed after sunset. Austin's made contact with the defendant and another male who advised they did not have the park, did not know the park was closed. The defendant kept reaching near his waistband and pocket. Austin's attempted to conduct a Terry frisk on the defendant, resulting in the defendant running. Foot pursuit lasted approximately 25 to 30 yards. While running, a black handgun fell from the defendant's waist area. Defendant stated the gun belonged to his mother. Officers recovered a Glock 23, loaded with one bullet in the chamber and seven in the magazine. Fifteen additional bullets were found inside the defendant's book bag, and an extra magazine containing 18 bullets, a total of 41 bullets. Defendant's father arrived on scene and stated the defendant's mother is the one who purchased the weapon for the defendant. Defendant is 19 years of age. He has 2023 come off and carry the weapon on suit as a juvenile, no out of county. Uh, uh, Here's the rub. What's he doing? Walking while black? What's he doing? What's he doing wrong? Was he under arrest? And all I see is that they go up to him and they just start searching. Right? I believe. Walking while black. Mr. Abiola, I'd be very careful. You know? Where you go, what you do, may not end up well for you. I'm going to find no probable cause on this case now. Thank you, Ms. Aviola, be careful. Just take a seat for me in the back, please. Don't leave. I found no probable cause. Guys, keep it down, please. I found, I found no probable cause. Your cases have been dismissed. The only thing I'm going to counsel you is to be careful. Don't go to parks after hours. Otherwise, they're just going to harass you. Do you understand? Okay, good luck, man. You're free to go. Garcia? Hi, I'm more important than this one. What? No, it's not my average name. I would never mind. No one. Do the joke. 
<laughs> no one's more important than Lord. Oh, I know. <laughs> He'll be asking me for help soon, I'm sure. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's right. Did you say Gutierrez? No. Um, Garcia. I'm sorry. Garcia. Jorge Luis Garcia. Sorry. Mr. Garcia, you're charged with theft. You're facing up to six months in jail and or a $2,000 fine. Uh, what have you guys worked out? 32 Say it again. 32. 32 days. 32 days in jail with credit for the 32 days that you've already done. You know, you have a prior theft from 2010. This here makes two. What happens on the next one? You know, you're smiling like you're having like having a good time, little bunnies jumping in the woods. This is not a happy moment for you, Mr. Gar Mr. Garcia, you know, because you have a lot to lose. Have you been to the pen before? Sir. Yeah. So what that means is that they can continually enhance you, perhaps to even a five to life if you steal a pack of freaking gum. Your attitude tells me a lot. It tells me how much you think of this. But, you know, it's all fun and games until someone gets a 15-year sentence. And that's the problem. When people look you up, they think you think they're going to give you any leeway? No. You're charged with theft. You're facing up to six months in jail and or a $2,000 fine. You've worked out an agreement where they're offering you 32 days in jail with credit for the 32 days that you've done. You're giving up the right to a trial, right to compel witnesses to test on your behalf, confront and cross-examine your accusers. If you're not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, denied naturalization. Like I said, this now makes two. If you pick up any more theft cases, you'll be charged with a felony offense. And then if you have any other state jails, any other third degrees, they'll just keep enhancing you until the day is long. How do you plead to the offense, Guilty or not guilty? I will find you guilty. You send it to the agreement. I will roll your court costs and good luck to you, sir. Thanks. Thank you, Lord. He missed his court date on Friday. Oh, Mr. Stewart. We would have come on Monday, but my wife gave birth Monday, so we're here now. I, you know, Mr. Marshall, I absolutely love you. I truly do. And, you know, congrats on the baby. But, Mr. I don't care if you have Jesus here, Mr. Stewart. Don't matter who you have here. You've picked up case after case after case. And now you continually miss court as well. I don't think so. The time has come for you to stay with me. It goes with you. Don't think so. Please. That's a note I see from the So library. both thefts here, one theft is being dismissed. The other failure that is being dismissed is just cleaning to one theft. Correct. Heck of a deal, Ms. Harris. That is a screaming deal. I really, truly hope you appreciate this because, you know, you pick up any more criminal cases, they're going to look at this. Do you think that they're going to bend over backwards to help you in the future? No. You know, at some point, the DAs, they're like, you know what? She's just not getting it. She's a public menace, and we're just going to throw the book. It's only a matter of time. Not only that, with your history, you know, what, what are you, 24? 20. You're 20? Yes, yeah. So until you do something else, I'm going to kill her. That's what I told her. Not literally. <laughs> it's not a funny thing. I'm telling you now. I mean... Having this robbery, people will look you up when you're trying to get a job, you're trying to get in school, you want to get loans, you want to buy a car. When they see this, they're going to scrutinize like you like crazy. And they're going to say, well, why on earth are we going to help this person when we know that she could potentially steal from us? You're 20 and you're repeatedly shooting yourself in the foot. Where do you go to school? Do you go to school? What do you do in life? I graduated, but I was working at the hospital. What happened here with the robbery? Yeah, she it was the robbery. We wouldn't even tell. What happened was a girl was stealing something out of, out of the store. Not her. Uh, she thought, the woman thought my client was, was stole something. She never even went to the store. She busted my client window with a shovel, the woman that was in the store in the front window. And then once she did it to my client, it's all on video tape. I kind of got out and started a fight with her. So she it was never a robbery at all. Was this a one of those Bed Bath & Beyond or Bath & Beyond? I don't believe so much. It was one of the robberies. It was Dollar General. At a Dollar General? Yes. Really? 
You're going to pick up a robbery at a Dollar General? Come on, man. Really. You know what? Life is so short. I mean, this life can either be great or can be completely miserable. And the more cases you pick up, uh, you will never get a job. And let me tell you, this life sucks without money, without a car. It really blows if you ain't got some kind of resources. Straighten up. High right. Because you're only going to get so many chances, Ms. Harris. So now you're only going to end up with a step, which is, I mean, and it's just a sweetheart deal. I truly hope you appreciate it. If I see you back here, I'm telling you, I'm going to bring the pain. You're giving up the right to a trial, right? To compel witnesses to test on your behalf, confront and cross-examine your accusers. If you're not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, deny naturalization. You give up the right to appeal. Once you accept this agreement, you can never change this. Ms. Harris, from now on, you will be facing a minimum of 30 days in jail if you ever pick up another case, no matter what it is. You almost also must understand that this theft is an enhanceable offense. If you pick up more, you pick up a third one, you're looking at felony charges years instead of days. Do you understand? Yes, sir.